the fact that he was a dancer and, and a lifter, not a weightlifter, but he would, I guess, lift up and the ballerina and, and, and throw the other ballerina. He would around. lift the ballerina. What does, what does that mean? You know what? Supposedly, he was recruited by these girls to have that role. I think front and center on any stage is this guy's. M.O. unless it doesn't feed him narcissistically. You can't give him a job unless you're going to tell him you're the star and we're going to right. keep you at a throttle of 12 out of 10. And here's the thing, I've been saying it before, Barack Obama does not have the will of the American people, Americanism in his soul. And this swap, somebody who may not feel very American for five people who definitely don't, is symptomatic of that. It was bound to happen when you have a leader who doesn't affiliate with patriotism. Well, he definitely wanted out of Afghanistan, and maybe it's his way of closing Gitmo, regardless of the. He cost. wants out of America, my friend. Well, all right, uh, yeah. Dr. Keith trust Ablo, me. with. Oh, trust you. I guess you must be right then. Okay, do you understand his line of reasoning there? He says, uh. Sergeant Bergdahl was a ballet dancer. That means he wants to be the center of attention, which means that President Obama is un-American. Wait, what? It doesn't even make sense from step one to step two. When, and I love Brian Kilmeade, meathead idiot he is. Well, you see, this guy who's a ballerina, he didn't lift weights. Fuck is wrong with him. Not everybody likes to just lift weights, Brian. Some people like to dance, some people like to sing, some people like to paint, some people like to write. But he's, he's mocking that idea. But, he, but uh, fucking Dr. Chokes on Dicks over here says, well, he's a dancer, which means he needs to be the center of attention. Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You just made that up. Some people are dancers and they're very shy and they don't like to be the center of attention. You know? And, by the way, you could just as easily make a stretch of an argument on the other side. That, no, actually, people who are weightlifters, what are they doing? What's a guy doing most of the time or a lot of the time when he's weightlifting? Not just getting stronger, also trying to look better. Not just staying fit, also trying to look better. So what do they do? Those are the guys that walk around, you know, in the guinea tees with their muscles showing and walk around like, yeah, look at me, I'm big, I'm strong. You like that? You like those muscles? So I can make the same argument, oh, the people who are weightlifting, they're the ones that want to be the center of attention. So from step one to step two, he's already making shit up that, oh, he was a... Uh, a ballet dancer. So obviously, he's, this is a guy who wants to be the center of attention, which clearly means that Obama is an American. I don't even, there's not even a theoretical connection you can make there. Like, you can't even, uh, we could sit down and talk about it all day, and there's no connection between the actions of a soldier, of a sergeant, okay, to President Obama's feelings about the country? And can we stop with this silliness? It, because somebody might disagree with you politically on the issue of Afghanistan, you know, as Steve Ducey said, like, well, look, he probably wants to shut down Guantanamo. He was trying for a while and they want to get out of Afghanistan, which, of course, isn't even true because they're keeping 9,800 troops there um, for another two years and then revisiting it after that. But the idea that because somebody else wants to get out of Afghanistan, and I want to stay in Afghanistan, therefore they are un-American, and he wants to be out of America. You can't say that, because that's not true.